What's up, everybody? I'm Logan XLs. Welcome back to the Rise and Vape Show. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys have had a great week. This week has been crazy for me. Um, and yeah, yeah, you get uh, you get old, smarter looking Logan with glasses this week. Just in the middle of ordering new contacts. So yes, you know, I do I do wear glasses. I am that guy with the glasses and the four eyes, and that's okay. You probably are too, so there you go. It's been kind of a roller coaster of emotion this week, I think. Um, I live in upstate New York, and as you know, um, we're, we're in a rough spot right now as far as um, oncoming regulation and things of that nature. So if you're also in New York or anywhere in the United States and you'd like to support your fellow New Yorkers, I will have links below in ways to do that. Guys, if you can help, please help. You know, write the representatives, get involved. I normally save this this speech for the end of the episode, but this is, it's here right now across all New York State to ban flavors, all to ban the sale of all flavors uh, in retail stores, in vape shops, anywhere in New York State, please get involved as best you can, as soon as you can. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I feel like I'm dying this week. Just been like this roller coaster of emotion this week. Either way, let's uh, let's just jump right into what I've been vaping. Well, let's, let's stop wallowing in sadness and get motivated and get going and <laughs> fucking vape on man uh that e-leaf pod i'm still really enjoying this this little e-leaf elven pod i've got it loaded up with uh some humble strawberry i've actually come to uh kind of like it on that open setting i was keeping it on the more restrictive setting for a while but honestly i've kind of gravitated towards it being a little more airy and i i uh i kind of like that Good flavor, really just nice little, uh, nice little vape. When you get a good pod from E Leaf for that Elvin, and it crackles, oh man, that's the best. Uh, I've got the uh, the drop loaded up on top of the uh, the Pulse 80 watt box from Vandy Vape. Got it loaded up with some loyalty, some keyberry, and uh, yeah, I've got it. Uh, I've got a frame stag staple down in here from Twisted Timmy. Beautiful. I'm one of those weird guys. I like a single coil build in my drop, inverted. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. Sorry, Brian. It's just how I like the drop. That was it? Whatever. And then, I'm still going strong with this setup. I'm really considering getting an all-black Dead Rabbit SQ, uh, just so I'm, it's matchy-matchy, because I love the way that a really great single coil thrown in here uh, vapes. And again more Twisted Timmy. I've got one of Twisted Timmy's aliens sitting down in there. Amazing. I'm going to see if I can catch the crackle off of this coil for you guys. But I got it loaded up with... How do I explain this? This is Vapor's Choice Fruit Fusion. It is a watermelon, mango, pear, and apricot. Okay. This, this liquid mimics... And I don't know... And I don't want to say it the wrong way because I don't know... You know who came out with it first or or start any kind of you know problem but this liquid tastes exactly like exactly like the watermelon mango apricot liquid gold from stunna it's spot on it is spot on spot on I'm going to see if I can get the audio for you guys on these coils. That 
these coils have uh, what I like to refer to as that rolling thunder crackle. It's just like rolling thunder. It's just like you can just hear the crackle. Just that deep, rich, rolling thunder crackle. And that's, oh God, that's so good. So good. So another big shout out to Twisted Timmy and his coils. If you guys want to check them out on Instagram, do it. It's Twisted Timmy's coils. Give him a shout. Give him a holler. Give his coils a try, especially as aliens. You won't be disappointed. I know I'm not at all. I'm actually very much in love with these aliens. That's the uh, that's the short and sweet of it. So I guess I guess the next segment is liquid tasting. You guys want to do that? You guys want to get Becky in here? We'll do some liquid tasting. All right, let's do that. Ugh. All right. Liquid tasting of the week. This is another liquid that we got from our sample box this month um, that we've been waiting to try. Um, we've kind of already done a smell test on it, but we, we cheated a little. We cheated a little because we weren't sure that we were going to do this juice, but I really want to do this juice because I'm super liquid. Liquid. I'm really excited to try this liquid. Um, this is the orange marmalade from. I don't know, lav8lifestyle.com, powered by Elevate, um, contact, connect with us, Marmalade e-liquid. I have no idea who actually makes... I think they're just called Marmalade. Should I keep trying to... No, that's good. All right. I like the side view. There's, uh, there's on the side, this is a six milligram. All right, so what does Zample Box say about it? All right, this is orange marmalade. Um, by Marmalade E Liquid. Okay. It's 70 VG, 30 PG. Okay. Yeah. And that's all it says. Just orange marmalade. Yeah, that's it. No other notes expressed. No. Nope. No creaminess. No Just marshmallow. No. Marmalade. And it's just orange. It's very orange. It's just orange. Like, it's kind of almost a little bit like, um, like vitamin C, like chewable vitamin C kind of taste. Like, it's got that, like, um, I don't know. It tastes almost medicinal, I guess, but we'll wait and we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to throw it in the Pulse 24, sitting on top of that little LMC. Look what came in. That'll be reviewed soon. The goat and the uh, the top side. <laughs> Ooh, it's orange. I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. We'll give it to you. Uh, we'll give it to you, nervous Nancy. Give it a shot here. Orange marmalade from Marmalade. Ready? Yeah. That's it? Just one? Just hit it. Ooh. Oh, I was like, oh, you're not going to give it to me. Well, I wanted to give it to you with, <laughs> with liquid on it. I'm sorry, I'm so used to squonking. Yeah, I'm not... You don't pass it if it's beat, dude. I... Do it. I like it. It reminds me, it's kind of like uh, like if you had like an orange powdered drink and it was a little bit too watered down. Like, see that? like Tang or one of those like orange powdered drink mixes, but like watered down. Mm -hmm. I see that. There's still flavor though. Oh yeah, but it, it just, that's what I get out of it. That's what I taste is like a watered down Tang. Who remembers Tang? If you're not old enough to remember Tang, please I, stop watching this video. I remember Pootie Tang. You remember Pootie Tang? Oh, I remember Pootie Tang very well. Yeah. But, yeah, that's what I get out of it. it I, t for me, it's enjoyable. I'm a big citrus guy. I like orange. I like lemon. I like lime. Citrus flavors are something that I gravitate towards. So, uh, so yeah, I like this. I... 
It's not my favorite. I will say I'm not a big citrus person, though. Yeah, I know. We definitely I know. am more of a dessert or like a berries and cream kind of gal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just I think it's a personal preference on this one for me. It's not a huge All orange right. fan. I actually, I'm the one that picked this for the sample box. I know, and it's something I had looked at for a while. Because I was, I wanted to branch out, try branch something out. new, try something new, branch you know. Out. And I'm not disappointed in it, it's just, I'm probably not going to vape it. So then you are disappointed in it. I'm not, okay, maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> Final scoring, as we always do, on a scale of one to five, one being I never want to vape this e-liquid again, and five being I want to vape this e-liquid every day for the rest of my life, where are we at? You want me to go first? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm going to give this a solid two. Um, Like I said, I don't dislike it, but if it was one of the last juices I had, I would be like, okay, it's time to vape this. So you would vape it if you didn't have any other choice. Right. You, like, you wouldn't actively go out and buy a different bottle if... You could still vape this. Yeah, I would there. vape this before I would go out and buy another bottle. Okay, I'm going to give this liquid a four. I really enjoy this. The only thing keeping it from being a five <clears throat> is that, that watered-down kind of effect that I get out of it. If it was just a little bit more of just that, that, that orange that's in there, but if it was just a little bit more flavorful, if there was just more to it, this would be a, easily a 4.5, maybe... Excuse me, maybe even a five. But as it stands, I'm going to give it a four. I really like the flavor. I really like the quality of vape that I get out of it. But again, it's, it tastes watered down. Also, I'd like to add, I, me personally, I wouldn't fill my squawk bottle full of this. This would not be a, would this be a dripping? This would be a dripper. I wouldn't dripping squawk juice. this. You wouldn't squawk this? No. You wouldn't want to commit to 10 mils of this? Mm-mm. So this would be kind of like a session vape for you? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Well, that's it, guys. That is the Orange Marmalade from uh, Marmalade, powered by Elevate at www.lav8lifestyle.com. So all sorts of names and different places going on with this e-liquid, but as a whole, I think it's good. If you like watered-down tang, Cool. boom. Do All right. you. Thanks, guys. Bye. I love liquid tastings. All right. Are you guys ready for news and advocacy? I am. So let's do it. All right. So what I wanted to share this week was an article that came out in USA Today a few days ago, and it was good. I mean, there's still a little bit of that, uh, you know, developmental brain thing for teens that they the FDA and and Scott Gottlieb and our Surgeon General Jerome Adams keep keeps pushing and pushing and pushing uh, where we're not seeing data for that just claims um, and yes that is mentioned here in this article uh, but the rest of the article is is phenomenal and I'd like to share a few snippets with you now Clearly, American smokers and non-smokers are familiar with the differences between e-cigarettes and traditional smoking and misunderstand how traditional smoking causes harm. Both smoking and using e-cigarettes, also called vaping, are nicotine delivery systems, but traditional cigarettes burn tobacco, which causes the release of thousands of chemicals that are inhaled in the process of delivering the nicotine. It is the combustion process and the inhalation of these chemicals, not the tobacco or nicotine, that leads to cancer. E-cigarettes contain no tobacco. Instead, e-liquid, which is made up of propylene glycol and glycerin, two substances the FDA recognizes as safe, along with water and flavorings, is warmed, creating a far less harmful vapor. If the e-liquid contains nicotine, not all e-cigarette liquids do, when the vapor is inhaled, it delivers nicotine to the user. E-cigarette positives outweigh negatives. Despite this, the FDA refuses to approve e-cigarettes as a smoking cessation product and is instead working to make it harder for current smokers to access these products. The goal of those discouraging vaping seems to be to prevent teens from vaping. 
Certainly that's a worthy goal. No one wants teens or anyone else to take up any form of smoking or become addicted to nicotine. Yet teen vaping should also be kept in perspective, rather than positioned as a dire public health emergency. Public health officials should consider how to discourage teens from habit-forming behaviors, but they shouldn't mislead the public by calling teen vaping an epidemic or use it as an excuse to ignore e-cigarettes potential to end the use of traditional cigarettes among adult smokers and dramatically improve Americans' health. In a perfect world, no one would smoke anything, eat junk food, have unprotected sex, drink alcohol, or stay up too late. Yet policymakers and public health officials have long recognized that rather than wishing for the end of a vice, it is more effective to find ways to educate about the risks and mitigate the harms associated with it. There is no reason to abandon that principle now. This is what we talk about all the time. Governmental overreach, the FDA's overreach. I mean, we're talking about products that are saving people's lives. And here, here we are facing a wall, a blockade, if you will, from the FDA and from, from Jerome Adams, our Surgeon General, misleading the public, misinformation constantly everywhere about the dangers of vaping. I really want to thank USA Today for putting this article out there, for, for standing up for truth, for calling out the lies, for informing people. I'm going to post the link to that article down below. I just wanted to, to share it with you guys. Uh, it, it's a phenomenal article. Um, there's still, meh, a couple of things that, meh, okay. But as a whole, that article uh, is, is with us. That article is for us. And I think it's huge, and I think it's fantastic. So thank you, USA Today. Thank you for putting that out there. You, uh, it, just phenomenal read. Phenomenal read, phenomenal message. And I hope that it reached a few people out there and, uh, and maybe opened their eyes just a little bit as to what we're dealing with and what we're going through. That's, uh, that's going to do it for me today everybody thank you so much for tuning in you know i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and lungs i'm logan exhales this has been the rise and vape show if you want to check me out on instagram it's instagram.com forward slash logan exhales and on twitter at logan exhales as well get involved get out there join casa we need you here in new york right now new yorkers this is your call to action this is it this is this is huge for us advocate educate get out there and save some lives. You saved your own, let's save some more. All right? Get involved, everybody. And as always, vape on. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. We'll give it to you. Uh, we'll give it to you, nervous Nancy. Give it a shot here. Orange marmalade from Marmalade. And I'm not disappointed in it. It's just I'm probably not going to vape it. So then you are disappointed in it. I'm not. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs>